Thank you, Presiding Officer. Uh, in closing this afternoon's debate, on behalf of Scottish Labour, I reaffirm our position to this affirmed bill. The UK government's illegal migration bill paints a picture of irresponsible refugees who seems to uh, delight in travelling to the UK in dangerous small boats. This is simply not the case. This bill could actually achieve the opposite of ensure, <coughs> ensuring safe passage of asylum seekers across the channel by forcing many vulnerable asylum seekers into the hands of human traffickers and criminal gangs. Many of my colleagues today in the chamber have already addressed the dehumanizing and immoral proposal within this bill. But as the Cabinet Secretary's motion addressed, there are also deep concerns that the bill is not consistent with the European Convention of, on Human Rights. The Home Secretary, Suella Bernerman, herself cannot even guarantee that this bill does not breach international human rights law. As my colleague Paul O'Kane addressed, the UK government should be focusing on creating more safe and legal routes for people seeking asylum instead of vilifying those who arrive via alternative means. As many have already mentioned, the right to seek asylum is universal human right, and shared with the 1951 Refugee Convention, a right that all those interning and living in the UK should have access to. This bill takes that right away from some of the most vulnerable people in Scotland. The UK government's bill has received widespread criticism from numerous third sector and international organisations. All condemns the immoral and unreasonable proposal within the bill. Amnesty International UK have predicted, predicted that the bill is expected to reach into various devolved areas of competence. Most worryingly, around child protection and entry trafficking legislation. The trafficking provisions within this bill are incompatible with the entry trafficking obligation under the Article 4 of the European Convention of Human Rights and Article 12 of the Council of European Trafficking Convention. The scope of these duties requires uh, the involvement of Scottish Ministers, Police Scotland and Lord Advocate. This bill will not only directly impact this profession and their commitments within Scotland, but specifically undermine the protection contains within the Human Trafficking and Exploitation Act, Scotland 2015. The Children and Young People's Commissioner in Scotland has advised that the bill gives the Home Secretary the power to disapply existing statutory duties in Scotland owned to unaccompanied asylum-seeking children under the Children's Scotland Act 1995. My colleague Cockup Stewart already mentioned local authorities in Scotland have a responsibility to provide children in need with support and accommodation, regardless of their current immigration status. The Scottish Refugee Council have advised that this bill removes the right of survivors of trafficking or modern slavery to seek asylum in this country when entering by what the UK government have termed illegal means. It also removes the, their right to safety, assistance and recovery of the prospect of temporary leave to remain. My colleague Donald Cameron com commented that we should not be debating this issue as a matter reserved to the UK government. However, as I have already addressed, it will have uh, ramifications in Scotland that are likely to be overwhelmed many of Scotland uh, sectors. The number of asylum seekers that will need pro bono assistance is expected to be very high. This has the potential to overwhelm Scotland's legal aid service. Not to mention 
the impact this could have on Dungibil Immigration Detention Centre. This centre is the only immigration detention centre in Scotland and currently has the capacity to detain 130 men and 12 women. And although legal professionals are monitoring the situation, they suspect that the consequences of the bill will very likely overwhelm the centre and the neighbouring community. If provisions aren't put in place to support the centre, it is likely we will see asylum seekers being shipped elsewhere in the UK with little regards to personal or family ties. This bill not only contains immoral and inhuman plans that will endanger thousands of vulnerable people trying to seek asylum here in the UK. It seeks to shut the door of those who have entered this country as victims of human trafficking and who will receive no compassion or protection from the UK as a result. But it will also directly impact a number of devolved areas of competence. It is likely to contradict commitments made by the Scottish Par Parliament and have a serious impact on sectors here in Scotland. We should remain committed to the international agreements by which the UK are bound. And I hope that Scotland will remain committed and welcoming of those entering this country seeking asylum. Thank you.